Hey guys, so, uh, back in another video. Today we are going to do my WWE Backlash predictions for this coming Saturday, May 4th. Uh, so yeah, May 4th be with you and all that crap and all that bollocks. Uh, let's get on with this, let's get on with this show. We've got five matches to go through, so no time like the present as, uh, WWE presents Backlash from France. Uh, so yeah, pretty cool stuff. Let's get on with the show. Uh, first match on the night, we have Solo Sakura teaming up with Tamatonga. To take on Kevin Owens and Randy Orton. Uh, this one feels the mo makes the most sense to me, uh, prediction wise. I feel like Solo Sakura and Tamatonga should pick up the win, especially with this whole new bloodline motto of winning and losing has consequences. That's why they kicked Jimmy Uso out of the bloodline, um, and that's why Roman Reigns has kind of done, you know, disappeared for a, a long time, and that's why The Rock, the final boss, is gone. So uh, Solo's kind of taken over the bloodline, but. Uh, it feels like kind of a bit of a two-faced move for Solo to say that, considering that he hasn't won a damn match since November. Uh, yeah, uh, so I feel like they're going to pick a win up, pick up a win here over Kevin and Randy Orton. Uh, Kevin and Randy Orton don't really lose too much in losing to Solo and Tamatonga. Um, so yeah, I think Tamatonga and Solo will pick up the win, and we move on to the, to the next matchup, which is also a tag team matchup. We have the, the women's tag team titles online, as we have the Kabuki Warriors of Asuka and Kairi Sane, defending the titles against the stunning tag team of Bianca Belair and Jay Cargill. Uh, I'm going to go with Bianca Belair and Jay Cargill to pick up the win on this one. I think they will look good in gold, and uh, as they, you know, they don't, they look good anyways, but they, I think they'll look even better with some gold around their waist, and uh, they look impressive, and I think it, they get it step one to their eventual uh, match it uh, down the line. I think winning the tag team titles is step one of getting to Bianca Belair and Jade. Uh, so I think Bianca Belair and Jade will win the tag titles, and then eventually they will have a split, and then they'll have a big match at a big pay per view. But this is just step one. So I think step one is Bianca Belair and Jade win the tag team titles right here, and we move on before I start repeating myself too much. Anyway, next matchup we have Bailey defending her newly crowned women's uh, WWE Women's World. Uh, Jimmy WWE Women's Championship, I always get confused with those damn belts. Uh, we have Bailey uh, defending her WWE Women's Championship against both Naomi and Tiffany Stratton. Um, I'm going to go with Bailey to win this one. She's only just won it at WrestleMania a couple weeks ago, uh, so there's no need to take the belts off it just yet. Uh, it, it, it indeed won't be Tiffany, uh, Tiffy, Tiffy time, or, and I definitely won't be feeling the glow. I think that Bailey will keep the title on this night especially with the looming threat of Nia Jax uh, waiting in the wings. So I think we're going to go with Bailey versus Nia Jax down the line, and uh, for, that, for that to happen, I think Bailey needs to retain. So I'm going to go with Bailey to retain. Uh, next matchup, uh, we have the... Uh, well, oh, yeah, we have the last two matches. Of course, there's only five fucking matches to go through. Uh, next matchup, we have this match right here. We have the World Heavyweight Champion, the newly won World Heavyweight Champion, Damian Priest, uh, taking on main event Jey Uso. Yeet! Uh, for the World Heavyweight Championship, uh, I love Jay Uso to death. Uh, I think he's, you know, he's one of my, um, uh, not my favorites because I don't have favorites anymore. Uh, you know, he's one of the people I support. Uh, that's the word I was trying to think of. Support. Uh, I, you know, one of the people I support in the current era of WWE. Uh, but I don't think he's going to win this match. I think Damian Priest as uh, same go same uh, the same reasoning as for. Why I'm going for Bailey? I think Damian Priest has only just won the title, so I don't see him losing the title just yet. Uh, especially with this Drew McIntyre CM Punk uh, debacle going on in the distance, I think Damian will keep the title for now as we head into the uh, later months of Saudi Arabia shows and Scot especially the Scotland show, uh, Clash of the Castle, uh, in June. So I think Damian Priest will retain the title here. Uh, maybe with a little bit of bloodline shenanigans, who knows? We'll see about that. But I'm go I'm just going to predict that Damian Priest will retain the World Heavyweight Championship here, and we will move on to the main event, which is this match right here. We have Cody Rhodes defending his newly won undisputed WWE Championship against the phenomenal AJ Styles. Uh, it should be a fun matchup. Uh, I don't really feel as uh, as the Ro as the Raw after WrestleMania proved. Uh, basically what it told me was uh, everything between now and The Rock comes back feels like it's going to be filler for Cody Rhodes so it's just going to be challenger steps up, Cody Rhodes beats them etc uh, etc et so I feel like this is going to be no exception I think Cody will retain over AJ Styles and uh, that's kind of it really I think uh, Cody Rhodes will walk out still the undisputed WWE Champion 
I think it's the first good uh, challenger for it. I think AJ Styles will give him a good fight, a uh, good matchup, but I don't see AJ Styles winning the championship. Not in a million years. Um, even though he does have history about winning the championship at Backlash, he won it back in 2016, but I don't see him winning it on this occasion. History will not, you know, the lightning will not strike twice, and I don't think AJ Styles will win the title here at Backlash in France. So I think Cody Rhodes will retain, and uh, that's going to be it. Uh, hope you enjoyed it, guys. Uh, sorry for a little bit of the rambling. Uh, I'll repeat myself. just seemed to happen. Uh, anyway, uh, that's going to be it now, guys. Tell me what you think in the comments. Leave me a like if you deserve it. Have a nice week. Oh, it beats a good weekend, guys, even though we're only on Tuesday right now. So enjoy the rest of your week, guys. Um, uh, enjoy the shows on Saturday and Sunday, uh, Friday and Saturday, if you're watching them. If not, just enjoy your weekend anyway. Uh, anyway, that's going to be it now, guys. Much love, and I'm out.